uh, it's a marble run project in the children's eyes, but actually it's learning about uh, science, technology, engineering. They're using their skills as engineers, budding engineers, to build a structure that can hopefully move a marble from about a metre, just under a metre high, down to ground level in as slow a time as possible. Just trying to build is one of those things that is a key engineering skill, and if they're doing it at this stage and their structures are not falling down, they're an engineer at a very low level, but they're getting there, and that's what we want to build on, literally, when they come up to secondary school. So they're going to get an understanding of what science, technology and engineering looks like, an awareness of local industry uh, that's around them within a coastal area, and also an understanding of some of the principles behind engineering, uh, basic skills like measuring, various other things that are going to be really useful to them as they get older. I don't think the students are aware of STEM careers that they could be doing. Actual industry does happen in this part of the world and they can be part of it. I think that it's certainly good that we've got a company that, that are obviously a big player in engineering terms in the area because again you're back to that idea of relevance that school is only successful insofar as it enables pupils to see what they can actually aspire to.